Good day gentlemen, hope you're all doing well. It's the 11th of March and we're going to take a look at all of these skins and get a good idea of what potentially might be a good investment, what at the moment looks like the best thing to put our money towards and you get the idea. So this is a weekly thing that we do and with this week there is a very notable thing that you might realise. We aren't seeing that many sales and uh, this isn't really that much of a surprise. So we're pretty much far from post Christmas now. You know, January was quite some time back. We're now seeing less people playing the game. Still a decent amount, mind you, but this is more of the average, the expected amount. 130,000 on a weekend during March. That seems to be a whole lot more normal. So the peak play account, even though it says 150,000 there, I don't think that's fully correct. It might be. But yeah, that was probably at some point last week. But yeah. What I'm saying is, as you can see, the peak player count starts to go down and down and down. And then gradually we're going to end up with around 130 something. So yeah, average player count also going down, of course. We are going to see skin prices going down. And of course, this was all expected because we've been talking about it these past few weeks. So just want to give you the heads up. Right. So with less people playing the game and whatnot. And after two weeks of ridiculous amount of sales in regards to the comics with the uh, stone door then oh i <laughs> clicked the wrong thing then we of course last week we had thirty thousand sales each with the elite crate pants and hoodie with the abyss garage door well this week we didn't really have anything stand out that was super crazy like this was a very tame week compared to the previous weeks therefore it's not too surprising to sit here after 48 hours well technically a bit less because it was very late the rustle rotation uh, on the past Thursday but anyway point I'm trying to make is none of these skins have over 10,000 sales it's quiet it's calm it's not ridiculous and you know what I'm fine with that. It's not a ridiculous week every single week. It's nice to have one of these weeks where you've got a reasonable amount of skins here. People aren't moving ridiculously to buy out every single thing. It's good. And potentially, in the future, everything you see here will probably flourish because of it. Because they haven't had too many sales. It should be alright. So, shall we begin? Shall we talk about the uh, hard suit hoodie and pants? And then work our way all the way down to the... Lowest selling skin. So yeah, hard suit hoodie and pants. So my immediate reaction was, this is the beginning of a new set. Shedmon has said, and he has actually already uploaded more of it. So if we just go over to here, there we are. This was submitted just yesterday. So we've got hard suit boots and gloves already prepared. Will that get accepted? We shall see. But he has mentioned that he plans to continue it. Remember, go to the workshop pages, read the comments, read what people ask. Um, please make a set hidden of course so it, it, it will yes yeah someone asked hey are you gonna expand upon this and he's like yeah of course so yeah we know it's gonna happen of course it was gonna happen so yeah this is the beginning of something we haven't seen ridiculous amount of sales it's cool it's a bit weird to look at when you look at it in game it's like you're wearing armor but it's not it's a hoodie and pants but hey i'm looking forward to seeing how the armor might look and if that does turn into a full collection then of course with this being a core piece when new course when new core pieces are submitted and then eventually accepted we're going to see spikes in interest and spikes in price so be prepared for something like that now these are also abnormal we don't need to rush into buying them we can take our time right so at the moment it's looking okay it's not looking ridiculous but with Shedmon still producing skins for the set and whatnot, everything's lining up to be looking good. So this potentially is going to be the thing that's going to potentially be the best profitable thing to put your money towards. If we see the routine of we do see tier 2 and tier 3 being accepted at some point in the future. So of course, regardless, core pieces are the best thing to put your money towards. They're the best investments purely based on the fact that when more appear... Others jump up in price, or pre-existing ones jump up in price. So you get the idea. We literally saw that last week with Elite Crate. When Hoodie and Pants were accepted, the Elite Crate Tier 3 tripled in price. So you get the idea. So cool. That looks to be perfectly fine, but I'd rather do a buy order first, then make a, de a decision whether I want to jump in and buy some. So yeah, you get the idea. Dragon Rage Crossbow. So we had a lot of Dragon Rage skins last year, and as I said, don't... I honestly didn't think this was going to have that much of an impact on this and it didn't really so yeah this is the first dragon rage skin to be accepted in 2023 will we see more probably i mean there's a whole lot more weapons to be made so i wouldn't be surprised by it so 
I, as I mentioned, crossbows tend to be fairly reliable, but only during the good times. So when we had post-Christmas, we had a lot of 2022 crossbows that were in the positive. Right now, the only ones that are in the positive, the two that are being manipulated, and then Comics Crossbow, which was already up in price before. This was the one that held up its price throughout the year in 2022, because people like to use it in the snowy environments. All of the other ones were below their rustle price. Lo and behold, they're back to it. So when these two aren't being uh, held up for pumps anymore, these two very likely will also go below their rustle price as well so what i'm saying is even though all of these at one point were in the positive now they're not and that very likely could happen to the likes of dragon rage crossbow it is part of a collection as we showed you it does have a home would it be used by a whole lot more people in the future probably now in terms of sales we've already got eight thousand. this might end up at around fifteen thousand sales not a ridiculous number um what i'm trying to say is you wouldn't you shouldn't be surprised if this goes below its rustle price at some point this year but you should also not be surprised if it kind of flourishes quite nicely towards the very end of this year when we hit post christmas time so if you want to invest into this maybe this is looking like a buy order situation where you just want to put down like a one dollar one dollar fifty buy order and it'll work out perfectly fine like i can easily foresee how that's going to play out it's just the way it is <laughs> it's basically it so even though it's not abnormal i can already see how this is likely going to behave it will not it won't really go down in price that much it won't really go up in price that much not until post christmas time and then you'll see it nicely rise up maybe we do see a whole lot more dragon rage skins being accepted this year that could potentially give it a bit of a push but we shall see at the moment i still think it will go below its rust or price so i'm gonna leave it at that Right, Frog Furnace, made by Mr. Ideal. This was random, like really weird. Um, you might notice now that SCMM.app has this uh, weighted thing, so it mentions how long it took for these skins to be eventually accepted after their initial date of being submitted. And well, this took four months because this was a very, very, very late pick. Very surprising to see it. Frog Furnace looks goofy. I've seen it in game. I just don't think the joke of it's going to last. It could. It could. Like, I remember for a fairly decent amount of time last year, in 2022, we had a lot of furnace skins that were submitted, but the main point I'm trying to get across to you was, one of them was the pineapple furnace. And that actually managed to hold up its price for a decent amount of time. Still, right now, it's up 26%. But all of these other ones were in the negative, and they are again. <laughs> it's, it's already beginning. But this actually held up its price every now and then. I think it got pumped a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but this frog furnace looks very silly. But the point I'm going to stick with is furnace skins by default tend to go down in price when, well, it's not very good times. So yep, yeah, some of these are fairly stand out and they're, gonna, they're doing okay at the moment. Will they hold forever? Not 100% sure. But we got this one right here. I don't know. It's awkward. Like, when you turn it on at night, you you do see the angry face, but that's it, really. Um, we've had plenty of angry-looking face furnaces in the past. Do people really care enough about this one? I don't know. Yeah, you might sit there and say, ha, 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 uh, when we turn it on, it's like it's going, re. but then... Is that it? Is that really going to hold $2.49 forever? I don't think so. So it's a goofy idea, it's a goofy acceptance, but I just don't think it's going to hold its price. Now it is abnormal, we don't need to rush into buying it, you get the idea. But I just don't think the joke of it's going to really hold it up in terms of value, so... Yeah. Right, then we're on to Toxic Wolf Glow in the Dark Door. Very cool, I've seen it in game, looks awesome. However, it's not selling that much. Now that could be a potential positive, because if it doesn't sell that much, then there's a lot less likelihood that people bought these in excess, which is good because you don't have as much competition to sell your skins. But, let's get this across. <sighs> I'm still very cautious about sheet metal doors. Last year, we saw tons of them being accepted. This year, not so much. But, you know, after what? We've had 10 rust or rotations so far this year. Four, four so far. Last year, we had 25 sheet metal doors accepted last year. So that's basically one every other week, one every two weeks. So it's a lot different compared to with this um, this year so far. Could things just randomly turn around and then we get weeks and weeks and weeks of sheet metal door skins being accepted? I hope not. But yeah, at the moment, 
this is looking to be okay it hasn't sold a ridiculous amount it's probably going to end up at around 15,000 sales and it is part of the collection it does look cool in game with the glow in the dark in the saturday skin showcase go give that a nice watch because you'll see it for yourself come on so i think mr zinc is going to start producing a whole lot more uh uh toxic wolf deplorables that feels that kind of feels like the nice uh Nice push you should do next. Maybe we'll see an armor door. Maybe we'll see double doors. Maybe we'll see a wooden door, you know. Maybe we'll see clothing and armor being made again. He has made attempts. They haven't been successful in the past so far, but if he keeps getting the odd skin accepted here and there, maybe that might turn into a thing. And we have seen instances in the past where when the clothing and armor set fully gets accepted eventually, uh, the pre-existing skins do actually get nice, you know, a bit of a nice bump. So if this doesn't sell that much, I think it has a good future. It is abnormal as well. Don't need to rush into buying it. But as of now, it's calm. It's not ridiculous. This might be a slow burn. Like, it might not in dramatically increase in price immediately. But I could definitely see this, as time goes on, being a fairly well sought after door. Looks cool. Cool design. Stands out nicely. But we shall see. Like, I'd rather wait. Look at this on the uh, Wednesday slash Thursday, you know, depending where you are in the world for the abnormals. We could take a look at it, we'll look how many sold, and then we'll start figuring out, hmm, what's going to be a good price for this? $2.49, will it hold forever? I doubt it. But will it do nicely as of next year? I'm pretty sure it will. So I've got to keep that in mind. Am I going to approach this hoping that there's going to be some good traction for the short term? Or am I just going to fully sit back, relax, and just stick with like a long-term sort of approach with a fairly decently priced buy order? I think it might be the leather, but we'll leave that for now. Let's move on to the next thing. Good boy, custom SMG. First custom SMG to be accepted so far this year. But as I have mentioned, people don't really care much about custom SMGs. So when you take a look at this, yep, all of the ones in 2022, down, 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 down. Even the blackout one's gone down now. Oh dear. But yeah, they get fairly cheap. People don't really use the custom SMG that much. Yes, you might sit there and say, ah, ha, ha, but it's a good boy skin. Well, you know what? We had the good boy AK and look at it now. Down 42%. A silly, goofy gimmick doesn't hold forever. You know, it's not always funny. <laughs> so, yeah, my point, I'm, the point I'm trying to get across is wouldn't be surprised if this ends up close to around a dollar at some point. The goofiness might keep it up to maybe a dollar fifty, but as you can see with the likes of the AK, it immediately went down by 42%. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's not like we see tons of custom SMGs being accepted. That is a point that I will bring up. But it's not like people are running around with custom SMGs everywhere. That's another po another point that needs to be addressed. So, yeah, gun demand is the uh, key there. Do, 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 does it actually get used that much? Do, are people actually actively pursuing to use it? Not so much. Therefore, the skins don't get needed that much. Therefore, the price of the skins goes down. So, yeah, you get the idea. So... Yeah, let's stick with that for the uh, abnormal buy orders. As of now, I'm going to sit here and say this actually might be something you do a 70 cents to 90 cents buy order on. And I'm not joking. But for now, let's leave it for now and then let's just take a look at the rest of these skins and then we'll talk more maybe a bit later. So, Copper AR. I actually thought with more copper skins, uh, copper weapon skins being introduced, maybe more people would take a look at the copper collection a little bit more. On the day that this was accepted, we did see quite a lot of these skins appearing on the front page. If we keep seeing more copper skins being accepted, copper weapon skins to be precise, I think we've got a pretty decent uh, positive future for the whole collection maybe. Now, copper L96 was submitted this week, so just pointing that out. As of now, we've got to keep an eye on with the AK. We've got to take into consideration how well will this do in terms of being an investment. And my immediate thought is... We've just had five AK-47 skins accepted for, for, for the past five Rustle rotations. Um, as I mentioned, we've had 10 Rustle rotations so far in 2023. And during all of that time, we've had eight AK-47 acceptances. Down 35, down 9%, down 42, down 15, down 50, down 42, down 46. Yep, we are seeing problems immediately. Uh, too many AK-47 skins accepted in such a short amount of time. And overall, far too many options regardless. So this is the constant problem with AK-47s. Technically speaking, we are oversaturated with options and they never really flourish. That is a problem. And unfortunately, the Copper AR very likely will suffer because of this. It's more about the weapon itself rather than the skins itself. The weapon 
has far too many skins and it keeps getting too many acceptances. So with the perspective of financial perspective, is this looking to be a good investment? No. No. However, as I always say, especially with all of these skins, if you like the look of it, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, right? Show your support to the skin creators, help encourage them to keep continuing. And yeah, you get the idea. If I'm looking at this and thinking, right, if I wanted to buy 30 or 50 or 100 of them, would it work out well? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. So, yeah. If we do see a whole lot more copper skins being made, maybe the AK could get a, end up with a nice little home. It's got a very cool sleek design to it. I will point that out. Duck did a very cool job of it. But I default, I'm not super keen with AK-47 skins. So I'm just going to move on. Construction site bow. This is a cool design. You've got your transparency here, all in the idea of trying to reference uh, cranes and construction. Well, well, yeah, cranes, cranes. So it's a bit rusty. It's a bit discolored. It's a fun, unique design. But I have talked about hunting bows before. You don't really see these do great. The point I'm trying to make is... Out of all of the hunting bow skins that exists, people kind of just stick with a few and that's it. The few stand out colourful, interesting designs and then that's it. They, 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 don't, they don't feel the need to buy any new ones. So last year, all in the negative. Onana for a while did do quite all right. But then eventually even that went down. Dragon Rage bow held up fairly okay because it was part of a collection and people did like that collection. But uh, even now it's starting to go down. As we leave the good times start getting close to bad times with the current market downturn yeah they all they all struggle so if you're going to sit there and say will this do uh, nicely immediately i'm going to sit here and say probably not no um during bad times hunting bow skins tend to struggle pretty badly so be prepared for that um but hey we shall see because there's a there's a there's a point i do want to bring up to you but it's probably best that we talk about it when we look at this Python. So this Python so far has only sold 2,500. It's not the most interesting, snazzy, super colourful design, but I do understand what he's done with it. This weapon is damaged from all the chemical burns. You can see all the, uh, the, the bump map there and whatnot. That's a cool idea. Now, do people go crazy? Have people gone crazy for this? No, they haven't. It hasn't sold that much, has it? But it doesn't hurt to have a few interesting ideas being made that aren't always super colourful. What not? This guy took a different approach. He got rewarded for it. That's cool. But we have to look at this and say, will this hold up? Now, by default, Pythons, not the best of investments. In fact, the only one out of 2022, I believe, that's in the positive would be the Blackout one. And, well, wouldn't you believe it right there? Black Gold's actually holding up quite nicely, so that's doing okay. But all of the others... <laughs> What about the recent ones that we had this year in 2023? Down 21, down 13. Oh, dear. And that is also part of a collection. It didn't hold up very well, did it? Even El Diablo, that came out not too long ago. That's part of a collection. Didn't do well. So, yeah. You can immediately see that there are problems. However, however. This is the lowest selling skin of the week so far. If this ends up with, like, 5,000 sales, this leaves it to be vulnerable for manipulation and fairly recently we have a very good example of this if i just quickly scroll down wasteland sap only sold around 5000 but immediately people started to buy out the stock and immediately the price was pumped up so you can see where the actual demand ends at 130 but then you randomly get a 15 here and a 14 here and 11 here and a 19 here yeah Manipulators spotted an opportunity and they jumped in. They bought all the stock in the market and now they're trying to make it seem this is like a $4 skin. It's not. It's not. As I said, the actual demand is there. But then these guys popped up and tried to make it appear more valuable than what it actually is. So you can just see it just randomly going up in price. Gets bought out. Didn't get... Like, at one point, this was selling for $10. But I don't think that's... Uh, don't think that's legit. So yeah, what likely happened is the manipulators spotted a uh, manipulators spot, sp spotted an opportunity. They bought out a bunch of the stock. They want to inflate the value, and then they're going to start throwing it onto third-party sites, gambling sites, trade it out for actual valuable skins. So that's what happened here, and it very likely could happen to our dear friend, Mister Chemical Burns Python. So. If you want to take the risk and buy a skin purely because you think it might get manipulated, you know, the, the option's there. But it's not something I'd recommend. But 
if you've got some spare money and you think it's worth a shot, by all means, go for it. Wasteland Sap did sell a few times at $10, simply because of the manipulations that happened. Do you reckon that will happen as well? Choice is yours. It's up to you. So I just wanted to bring it up. It's not something I plan to do myself, but we shall see. So yeah, that is the week. Basically, all of these skins, that's it. You know, it's nothing super standout, nothing super crazy, but it's a bit of a breather. You know what? It's nice. So over the, over the past few weeks, we've had some pretty ridiculous lineups. This week, it's calm. It's relaxed. I like to see it. I don't have to scream about various silly little things. Straight to the point. All good. No issues. The only thing I can see potentially doing very nicely in the future are the hoodie and the pants, mainly based on the fact that if we do see more hard suit stuff being accepted, this will benefit greatly from it. Also, with the amount of sales that we see so far, it doesn't look like these are being bought ridiculously in excess. So everything's lining up perfectly fine with it. So fingers crossed, more hard suit stuff gets accepted. And as of now, it doesn't actually have that much competition. The only things I can think of right now are Frog Cosplay, which does have skins in the pipeline. Comics, which of course still has core pieces skins uh, in the pipeline. But there's not much else. Elite Crate. Elite Crate still needs to make Tier 2, or rather a version 2 of Tier 2. So there are some collections that still potentially could get some more skins at core pieces accepted. But some of them are still, you know, waiting and Hard Suit still hasn't got its other core pieces being submitted. So let's see how it plays out. But as of now, there's a fairly decent sense of positivity with this. Remember what I said with the likes of Crossbow? That feels like more of a long-term. Toxic Wolf Door also feels more of like a, a long-term. Then all of the other stuff I'm just not super keen about. So what I will do now is take a real quick look, see how all the uh, skins from the last week are currently performing. Immediately, these two are struggling. Why? Because as I said, there were far too many Elite Crate hoodie and pants in comparison to the Tier 3 armor. This isn't a surprise. In this, I'm not at all surprised. Right now, there's 180 of them on the market as well. That's also not helping it. Do we have signs of strong, like big resistance here? Um, no, no, no big resistance. No big fat quantities. No, no. The buy orders go all the way up to dollar thirty, but yep, they're already going below one dollar forty nine. Not looking good. So yeah, that isn't a surprise. It was fully expected. However, as I said. As I have said, if we do see Elite Crate Tier 2 being submitted and accepted, you will see a spike in demand and you will see the price increase. So let us wait and see. Right, now we have everything. Oh, wow. 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 All of it's in the red immediately. Even the pizza face mask and chest plate. Oh, I thought they had a pretty... Oh, oh wow. 193. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. 104. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just don't understand some people. Why would you list 100 on the Steam market? That's just not smart. Oh, well, you know, remember, unfortunately, other people exist and other people tend to cause mistakes and cause bad things to happen. Yeah, it's the actions of others that cause problems. But yeah, as expected, all of it ended up in the red. So this not so much just yet, but how many of them on the Steam market at the moment? Give it time. <laughs> give it time well this does have a furnace that's potentially in the pipeline for next week so you never know uh, the more deplorables you see the better it'll do probably but yeah this is a $3.49 skin and it's starting to go below that price so yep yeah, wouldn't be surprised if that happens over the course of the next few days but if we do see that uh, furnace being accepted I also wouldn't be surprised if it gets a nice little spike in demand and price the normal deplorables it still sees nice action doesn't it so yeah then we'll take a look at the uh, February 23 and well we are still seeing people keeping that price up with the stone door these as well but there are some things I wanted to talk about with the comics so first of all stone door there was like 280 of them in the steam market yesterday very weird there was like a lot of quantity here and now it's just suddenly vanished it's weird it was going this was getting cheap yesterday but then it suddenly disappears there's some weird things going on with this door. I just want to make sure that you are aware of it. Did someone buy it out? Oh my god, someone bought it out. Someone bought out 121. So, someone with a lot of money is routinely... And here as well, and here as well. Someone with a lot of money is routinely buying out all of the stock. I don't know. As I said, 
it feels like a fool's idea because this has like 45,000 plus in circulation. Why would you try and inflate the value of a skin with that many in circulation? I'll never know. There's weird things going on with this. I'm just going to move on. All right, this has 3,554 of them in the Steam market. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. Um, that's going to work out well, isn't it? Oh, man, you can see everybody's taking that positively, aren't they? Yay. This has got a great future ahead of it. Yay. Um, and then we've got the comics of Road Sign Gloves. There are 267 of them on the market. There is a lot of resistance. This is, yeah. Comics has got problems now. Comics has problems building up, and this is only going to get worse. So, yeah. It might be slightly in the positive now. It's not going to hold. It's going to start going down itself. So, yeah. That's that's in a weird position. These are starting to get dumps and resistance. It's not looking good. Now, there's one thing I need to point out to all of you. UFO Face Mask had some buyouts. Someone jumped in and bought out a hundred of them very randomly on Thursday. Took me and my chat by surprise. Something's going on with this. Something's going on with this. I just want to make sure to, uh, that all of you are aware there might be something weird going on with this. <laughs> Have I said that enough? Well, you've got this guy here that's randomly appeared and requested 44 quantity at $1.66. Therefore, keeping the price up. So if we can keep an eye out and see what account's doing that, we can probably spy on them and see what's going on. But yeah, that 100 quantity buyout, there it is, right there. So what's going on? What do you think? Feel free to uh, comment in the YouTube uh, uh, section. Comment section. And uh, yeah, all of that, not too surprising. AK down, this is getting pumped. These uh, didn't sell that much, so they kind of did all right. And immediately, because we've got Pizza Tier 3 being accepted, they flourished because of it. This is struggling because it's independent all by itself. So, yep, maybe we'll also take a look at February 16, how the skin's doing here. Oh, no, they're doing bad. All of them, every single one of them in the red. None of them being manipulated, none of them being pushed up. Not surprised to see that went down. Kind of surprised to see that go down fairly quickly. But yeah, everything here wasn't really a surprise. So the more you, the more that you look at these, um, look at the uh, progress of uh, weekly uh, of these weekly batches of skins and see how they perform after a few weeks, you just realise I can kind of figure out how things are going to play out. And yeah. If I can, eventually you can too. You just got to keep like keep track of how everything usually plays out, and then yeah. So not a super eventful week. The front page is looking a little weird. There was one thing that I noticed that I guess I could quickly point out to you. I did see the likes of the Tiki face mask randomly getting bought out. Um, I think someone bought out like a ton of them. Yeah, there's only six in the market now. Very weird things just randomly getting pumped. I can't... Uh, 24. <laughs> I, I, I have to really get this across. There are so many pumps going on at the moment. It's ridiculous. You just might randomly look at the front page and you'll see the most random skins being bought out. And... Guys, it's happening so frequently now, it's ridiculous. Ghostly sleeping bag, what are you doing here? Have you been bought out as well? It doesn't look like it. So I guess maybe some guy just dumped a bunch from the highest buy order. But yeah, there's a lot of pumps going on. Keep an eye on this front page frequently. You will see random skins there. And then you might think, you know what? I, I, I own some of them. I guess I'll sell now. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's best to just let it play out a little bit. Then look and see if it goes up even more. It's ridiculous, so just keep an eye out on it. But yeah, yeah. So, gentlemen, I hope you have a lovely day. Have a, have a lovely weekend, and we'll see how things play out with this current batch of skins. Let's see if it just sells well, or maybe it's just going to stay nice and quiet. Regardless, we can work with that. So, yep, have a good one. See you all later. See ya. Bye.